Sometimes you have some dividend information on what, the comp what a company has paid over the years, and you'd like to calculate the dividend growth rate. Why do you want to do that? Because there are a couple of formulas here that actually require the use of the uh, dividend growth rate. So this is the constant growth dividend formula. It assumes that dividends grow at this constant rate of G percent, and, or, and it's sometimes called the Gordon growth model, okay? And it says that the dividend next period divided by R minus G, where R is the required return and G is the growth rate of dividends, gives you the price of the stock. If you do some algebra, you can also compute it into or turn it into a return equation so that the required return equals the dividend in year one divided by the current price. That's what we refer to as the dividend yield plus G, which turns out to be the capital gains yield. So over here, I have some dividends, $2, 208, 212, etc that a company has paid over a 10 year period. And I'd like to calculate G. So the first thing you need to do is you need to calculate the percentage change from period to period. So the percentage change in the dividend is the dividend in time period T minus the dividend in the previous period divided by the dividend in the previous period. So we have to, even though we have data in 2015, we start in 2016 because we need two pieces of information. So this is going to be DT and this is going to be DT minus one. So let's put in the um, equation here, okay, or put in the numbers, all right? DT is, is the dividend in 2016 minus the dividend in 2015 and divided by the dividend in 2015. So we get 4%. Okay, I've previously done this so it's formatted, but it's usually going to just give you the, div, the you know, no decimal places. So you can expand the decimal places by hitting this key here or reduce the number of decimal places. So I just want to copy this down and so I can hold the uh, left mouse key and drag it down, or you can actually just double click this and it will do the calculations or it will copy it all the way down. So the ways we can calculate it are, we can find the arithmetic average. So this would be just to add up all of these percentage changes and then just divide by the number of observations. There are 10 years of data here and there are nine um, uh, changes in the dividend. So we would just add up all these numbers and divide by nine. Now, Excel has a function that does that. It's called average. And you can just put all these numbers in and hit enter and you get 2.97 percent. All right. The second way you can do it is by assuming that the dividends are compounding. So you start with $2 in 2015 and you wind up with 260 in 2024. In this case, we can use the rate function in Excel. So the number of periods is nine. Again, even though there are 10 numbers, remember there are only nine changes in the dividend. And the, and then down here, it tells you to put in the number of periods, which is nine. It's now asking for PMT, which is the annuity. There is no annuity, so just put in a zero. It wants the present value and so the present value is the first dividend. You have to put that in as a negative number. And then I'm going to put in the future value, this last number here. And I'll hit enter and I get 2.96%. So a little bit different than this one. This is the compounded return. It turns out that the compounded return is exactly the geometric average. And I'll show you how to do that. 
Um, so to get the geometric average, you need one plus plus the um, let's say percentage change in D. And so we're going to say equals one plus this. Okay, it gives it in percent form, but 104% is the same as 1.04. So let's just change the format here. And I, again, I'm going to just copy this down here. And now that I have these, I can find the geometric average. I actually have a video that shows you how to calculate arithmetic and geometric averages, and I'll provide a link below. How you do that is you would multiply this times this, and then that, you know, and then times this, and then times this, and times this. And then instead of dividing by 9, you're going to raise it to the 1 ninth power, take the ninth root, and then subtract 1. There's actually a function here that will do that for you. So let's do this. We're going to take the geometric average. It's called geo mean. And we're going to take this and we're going to multiply it all out. And then we're going to have to subtract 1 from it because we added 1 to those numbers. And here we get exactly the same answer, 2.96%. So if you use the present um, and future value uh, approach, that is the rate function, you're going to get 2.96%. If you just add up all of these and divide by 9, you're going to get 2.97%. So those are two ways to calculate the, the, uh, div, uh, the dividend growth rate. Okay, which again, now you can use in these different formulas. So I hope you found that this useful, and thanks for watching.